Hey guys, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Sunday, the 2nd of October, and this is your play of the day. Hey, before we get rolling on the play of the day, if you would be so kind, take a minute, smash that like button, give us the thumbs up, you know we appreciate the effort, and of course, make sure you get subscribed to the Winners and Winners YouTube channel, click the bell, get notified every time we put up brand new content, be it from one of our great handicappers or one of the, uh, one of the special shows that we do around here, so... Make sure you do that. You don't want to miss out, all right? And, of course, we want to know what you're playing. Put those plays in the comment section, whatever you got cooked up for today. A little NFL, maybe. Maybe uh, you can take advantage of the college game there that uh, got rescheduled. Maybe you got some uh, golf final round, soccer, whatever it is. Put those plays in there. You got, an, you got an advantage. You got an edge. Put them in. You get them right. You make a profit. We'll give you the shout-out. You get enough of them right, and you could be the capper of the day. So, uh, without further ado, oh, hey, if you want to be capper of the week, well, it is the last day of the week, so find a big, find a big underdog and, uh, and bet on them. Uh, but normally we'll fire the gate. We'll fire the week up on Monday. Everybody just put their best bet in there. Make sure you designate it with a BB, put the odds in if it ain't 110, if it ain't minus 110. Uh, and, uh, yeah, pretty much anything goes favorites, dogs, whatever you want to play. Cap the parlays at plus 200 and, uh, Bob's your uncle. You do that. You, you uh, work through the gauntlet of the seven-day week. You could be the capper of the week and get an opportunity to appear right here with me live on this uh, very show. So there you go. Well, not live, but uh, live as we shoot it. <laughs> so without further ado, let's take a look and see how we did yesterday. We did have the Navy. There you can live your life at ease. Um, sail the seven seas, maybe. Hey, we had Navy over Air Force and Space Force. They had the, It was Space Force Day. And it uh, didn't look great as we had 14 points. Uh, Air Force uh, drove right down the field, <laughs> scored a touchdown. Navy went three and out. Air Force uh, rolled right down the field, scored a field goal. It was 10-0 before we could even get our cocoa going, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Navy stiffened, and the offense did just enough. They had it actually tied late, or Air Force kicked the go-ahead field goal, but we didn't care about that because that play was a winner. We'll take the middies plus the 14. Uh, we did have the under in the uh, Atlanta Mets game. That cashed. But everything else was a no-go today. It was a brutal day on the premium side. Not the way we wanted to start the month at all. But you know what? It's NFL day. I got some winners fired up, and I got a couple of nice baseball plays I'm happy with, too. So if you want to get those, this is uh, uh, time for you to get 25% off not only my best bet, which comes with a money-back guarantee, but if you want to get longer packages, we have those available as well. Just for watching this video, we're going to give you 25% off. Use the code M86RX6L25, and that will give you 25% off. Of course, that code is in the show description as well as the link that will take you right there. So, without further ado, let's take a look and see what we got cooked up for the NFL. It's going to be another early game. And guys, normally, I don't like to do early games, and I'll tell you why. A little uh, inside baseball here. Uh, I don't get as many views. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, people that are looking for information on the late games, you know, they click on there and, uh, you know, we give them the whole day to do it. But we did we did it with Air Force and Navy. I loved that game. It was a uh, it was a 11 o'clock Central game. Put it in there anyway. Sacrifice views to bring you quality play. I'm going to do it again here today. This is going to be in the early window. This is going to be Titans at Colts. Colts minus three and a half. You know, this likely isn't going to be a big quarterback duel. It's most likely going to come down to who can run the ball and who can stop the run. Now, the uh, Titans are banged up in the defensive backfield, so uh, Matt Ryan may be able to do something. But, uh, you know, it's really the two running backs. It's all about Jonathan Taylor. It's all about Derrick Henry. Uh, we've talked a little bit about Derrick Henry in this space and others. He's looked uh, stunningly average this season, averaging just 3.6 yards per carry, and that is a full 1.1 yards under his lifetime average. The Colts uh, started with some early problems, had a nice win last week against the Chiefs um, as they uh, exhibited, once again, a very good defense, uh, especially against the run. They are first in yards per carry, giving up just 2.6 yards per tote, and they are third overall in rush yards allowed, and that's 77 yards per game. Uh, meanwhile, Jonathan Taylor, you know what? He hasn't had any monster games, but he is still averaging 4.7 yards per carry. That's right in line with his historical average. And uh, he may build on that number because uh, he gets to go up against, drumroll please, that's right, the worst run defense in the league by a good amount. Uh, I think he's going to be able to find some success against this soft Tennessee rush defense. 
I got to be honest with you, I hate both of these quarterbacks, and I don't trust either one to bring their team back from behind. Luckily for us, I think it's far more likely that Tannehill's going to have to air it out than Matt Ryan. And you know what? That works just fine for us. Let's take the Colts at home, winning two in a row, and covering the three and a half. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and hit big two, the window. All right. You guys know how I did. Uh, tough day for a lot of y'all as well, but there were some breakthroughs. And uh, let's see, the uh, capper of the week contest. I'll tell you, he keeps pouring it on. It's the captain, man. He's back on his boat, but he ain't stopped winning. It's Brian Gillahan. Uh, today, he had TCU on the money line. Uh, that was a nice plus 175 winner. Takes his total for the week to 826. Not going to lie, kids. Going to be hard to catch. Uh, one of the guys that does have a shot at him is uh, Zewa Carter. Uh, he dropped back a little bit today after taking Ugga minus 30. Uh, didn't quite get there. Um, I got to be honest with you. I like that play, too. I thought Georgia would rebound against the bad Mizzou team. Instead, Mizzou let him almost all the way through. Um, as a Mizzou fan, I watched the end of the game. I watched the second half, and you knew exactly what was going to happen. And it's exactly what happened. That defense just absolutely ran out of gas. Uh, Drinkwitz panicked, had, uh, didn't do a great job there with the Mizzou's final drive. Uh, anyway, so uh, I, I have a hunch it may cost them their number one ranking. Because Bama just rolled over a ranked Arkansas team. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, because you are Carter at 424. Uh, Max Garcia had a nice win today. He goes up to plus 246. So that is your uh, that is your three people that are at uh, uh, better than 200. Uh, Butcher had a nice day. He's had a couple of nice wins on the golf course. He's at 150. And uh, yeah, there you go. Justin McKelvey is also at 200. So there's some shots. Make the right pick. You can do it. So... Um, yeah, there you go, guys. As far as capper of the day goes, uh, Justin McElvey goes 1-0 plus 500. He had Arkansas team total over 21.5. The Butcher, as I mentioned, 1-0 plus 500. He had Kirk over least plus a half at minus 130. Expert Blue going 1-0 plus 500. Purdue plus 11. Uh, R. Rivera, a 9-1-1 as 1-0 plus 500. He had Duke minus 1.5. And as I mentioned, Max Garcia, you know him, you love him. He's the capper of the day, going 1-0 and plus 7-30. Why? That's right, your Kansas City Royals. I should have had the hat. I should have had the hat to put on. Uh, he had Kansas City to win, plus 146, and they won it in a laugher. Congratulations, Max. 1-0 and plus 7-30. You, my friend, are the capper of the day. Well done to you, Max, and well done to the rest of you guys that made some money out there. Let's finish up the weekend strong. What do you say? Let's go beat the NFL for all they're worth. Uh, and, you know, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll talk about uh, maybe the Monday night game a little bit. You know the drill. I'll be looking through the stats, combing the records, trying to find that angle. Give us our best chance to head back to the window. Guys, take care. We'll see you then.